hi guys today we are going to install g2 framework on ubuntu system so in order to install g2 framework we have two methods first method is quite simple it is installation from an archive file and this can be done by downloading basic or advanced template from the g framework download section so you have to simply download the g framework and then go to your root directory now in your root directory you can unzip the file and do the basic configurations and the system is ready so this is how we can do with direct download next method I want to implement is installation with the help of composer so here it is it is installation through composer and what is composer basically composer is a tool for dependency management and PHP so it allows you to declare the libraries your project depends on and it will manage so the composer will install them and the composer will update them you don't need to keep track of updating or installing so that's uh, about the composer so let's install with the help of composer uh, what we have to do uh, that for composer you have to install the composer first as all instructions are given on the e framework site so they say that after installing composer so we have not installed the composer so let's install the composer first for this we have to go to the terminal and in the terminal uh, but before the terminal let's go to the website of uh, composer so we can copy the link uh, which is installer so installer and yes copy this link now you can paste this link in the so we can paste here in the command prompt sudo curl uh, paste the path uh, pipe sign uh, and php so that's it run it will ask for your password okay so we have not installed curl in our system so curl command not found so what we have to do we have to install curl first it can be installed by opt get install curl and it will be installed in a moment okay so it is done so we can now run the previous command which was get composer installer so it is running it means that our composer is now installing now one thing to be remembered that installation through composer is a little bit slower as compared to direct download now let's go to site and we can copy this command to install the composer asset plugin so let's just copy this and uh, paste it here run we have to wait for this this is installed uh, in our root directory all the files will be downloaded so composer is installed asset plugin uh, script is run now there are two commands one is for installing the basic template of he which in our case we are not doing this uh, and this is for advanced template in our case we will be installing advanced template so let's copy this uh, paste it here and we want to make changes to this command first change is that I want to change the location so my location will be what www 
gcard.com public html this is my root directory for the site so enter and now composer will download g2 framework advanced template to my gcard.com slash public underscore html folder uh, it will take few minutes so we have to be patient So it has started downloading. In my case, it is loading from Cache. I have already downloaded. So for you, it will be downloading now. If we go to our public underscore HTML, you can see all our files have been downloaded. So he has been downloaded. What we have to do next is we have to configure it according to our system. So. let's go to the browser and uh, enter our path gcard.com we can go to frontend and web it's not showing so what we have to do we have to run few commands from the command terminal so let's go to the terminal and here first we have to go to our root directory which is www public record public html here i can run php in it okay so it will ask now that whether my installation is for development or production so it is for development into zero press enter and yes development environment so the necessary files have been created if I go to front end so here is my installation which is showing clearly that uh, front end has been installed uh, same the back end is also installed if I go to the back end so it is installed as well now next thing what I want to do is I want to configure database for it because for now I don't uh, have the con I don't have the in database configured so in my case I have created database for this uh, which is not connected yet so what I have a gcard database so in order to connect this database to my system I have to go to common folder and inside common there is configuration folder and main local is page so I want to make changes to this page since my username is academy so it is academy and for the simplicity purpose I have used my username and password the same so database name is gcard the configuration is done now next I have to import a migrate in order to bring the basic user table to our system which is currently not in our database so if I want to migrate import a migrate I have to go to the terminal 
and again write a command which is php g and migrate enter so there is a migration is found uh, apply the above migration so let's apply yes and it is user table has been implemented now if I go here in G code the user table has been migrated and migration table is also created so this is how we can install our G framework and so we installed our G framework migration is done thank you for watching